helping your child is still a great mystery to many people in the helping profession, not least of all to members of the medical profession. Your general practitioner who is versed in modern methods of medicine still approaches the problem of your child with either advice to parents that maybe the child has a lack of discipline or they'll prescribe a medication to help the child get rid of fear, guilt. But very often the difficulty encountered requires time, more time and patience than the practitioner has. Some of these children will be sent to a counselor or a psychologist for guidance and the physician will recognize those children who demand special attention are taken to that family practitioner for advice. Some of your children fall between those requiring specialized psychiatric treatment and others displaying superficial emotional problems. If this middle group cannot receive the treatment, they will certainly get worse and represent the more serious threat to modern medicine in the future. Many of these middle ground students and children who could be treated with less harsher methods can be treated rapidly with humanistic hypnosis. Other methods which you may have tried seem somewhat tedious, whether it's play therapy in which the child is allowed to play while his reactions are what, or behavior modification technique. The techniques are long and difficult, and parents somewhat get impatient with the time taken to affect relief of others and the symptoms. Psychoanalysis where the child's reactions and thoughts are subject to translation and explanation is even more tedious and more drawn out, and is used principally for more serious cases of maladjustment. Hypnotherapy can cut across the child's difficult, often in spite of the parent's attitude, enables your child to make a readjustment which quickly converts a negative attitude into a positive one. This simply means that whereas before treatment by hypnotherapy, the child faced life with a series of no and can do it, or do it yourself, and all the other wounds and don'ts so recognized by the parent with the difficult child. He now seems to alter in his attitude. The word no becomes, well, I might, I'll try, and so on. Advantage might be taken of this acceleration in treatment by using humanistic hypnosis. Nowadays, the waiting list to see a specialist in these specialized areas are very full, expensive, and if several children can be treated together, the long waiting list might be cut down. Hypnotherapy can rescript those child's earlier feelings that have attached, whether it was through parental programming or things they saw on TV or other children that they grew up with in the playground, activities and behaviors that they adopted as their own. They can be rescripted along with hypnotherapy therapy to those behaviors that are productive, powerful, that give the child a responsiveness, the freedom without the negativity attached. Doesn't your child deserve the best chance possible? Now, wouldn't you go the extra step to make sure your child gets that added benefit? Hypnotherapy is not therapy at all. It's a process, a process of allowing the child to rescript those memories without the fears, behaviors, and anxieties in a way that's responsible, productive, and helpful. Give us a call. Brian or I will be glad to discuss the possibilities for your child. Do it today.